hi. Oh, hi yourself. I, I was just lying here thinking. I, I must have dozed off. Good. What time is it? Oh, it's about seven. Well, there's visiting hours. And you must be starving. I'll fix us a can of soup or no. something. No. Stay here a minute. What's the point of going back to the hospital tonight? We can't just walk away from Allison, regardless of what she said this morning. Yes, we can, for a day or two. What are we doing, Elliot? Punishing her for being angry with us? No, we're just letting it cool off a bit. Or build more resentment. Well, what do you think is going to happen if we go back there tonight? Do you think that this morning will be a forgotten, and that Allison will say she just had a tantrum? I don't know what to expect, but I do know we have to work this thing out. I know. It's harder to stay away than to be there, but I think we all need a cooling off period. Maybe tomorrow or the next day we'll go back. What if she hasn't changed? What if she tells us again to stay out of her life? Well, then we'll fight it with everything we have. With love and understanding. And occasionally a few sparks of our own. Connie, don't do this anymore. Don't come into the house at night and lie down in the dark and ask yourself where you went wrong because you didn't. For you, there were no alternatives. I wasn't here. You had a child to raise. Without a husband, without a father. And a child that could have been labeled or destroyed at any moment. You don't have to lie in the dark anymore. May I help you, sir? I hope so. Are you Mr. Scott? Yeah. My name is Stephen Cord. I'm an attorney. I need some information concerning a purchase that was made here a while back. Oh, well, Mr. Cord, was the uh, purchase cash or charge? Charge. Well, I'm sorry. This store is about to close, but you can get that information from our credit department on Monday. Well, that's what they told me, but I'm flying back east almost immediately. Now, the information I need is in connection with a case I'm trying there. Oh, I see. Well, uh, I'd be glad to help you in any way I can. What is it you wanted to know? About a year and a half ago, a woman bought over $300 worth of luggage in this department. What was her name? Stella Chernock. Chernock, Chernock. Oh, yes, of course, Chernock. Stella Chernock. Oh, now, just a minute, Mr. Korn. That purchase was returned and credited to her account at her request. She has no cause for grievance against this store. Excuse me, Mr. Scott. I'm not Miss Chernock's attorney. Oh, I see. You say the merchandise was returned? Yes. Now, Mr. Court, I've been on this floor for 15 years, and never have I encountered a young woman so impertinent. She bought three pieces of our top line of men's luggage, and when they were ready for delivery, she called up and canceled the order. Well, I tried to explain to her that it's not the store's policy to cancel an order, especially after it's been monogrammed. Monogrammed? Yes, and a beautiful job, too. We had quite a little tiff. Finally, the manager backed down. Now, I never would have. Do you have any idea how difficult it is to find a customer with the same initials who is willing to accept such an expensive item? Well, thank heaven for Mrs. Jordan. Her son was graduating from USC, and she was giving him a trip to Europe. Jordan with initials RJ? Yes, that's right. Uh, uh, Robert. Robert Jordan. Thank you, Mr. Scott. Well, I hope I've been of some help. You've been very helpful to a young man who's standing trial 3,000 miles away. Standing trial? for murder, Mr. Scott. seen a 21-year-old baby cry. He really was the guy, Oh, I'm speechless. I'm speechless. 
That's a relief. <laughs> no, I mean it. I mean it. I, I never, I never expected anything like this. Good. Oh, excuse me. Well, I was really surprised. Yeah. Excuse me, Mr. Clayton. You really are surprised. Yeah. What was that? That was the seat of my pants. Oh, those darn orange crates. I knew we should have borrowed some chairs. I'll get my sewing kit. No, no, don't bother. I'll just spend the evening backing up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor Mr. Carson. Got it? I knew it. Sweetie, I gave you one guess as to what's inside my package. Oh, no, you didn't. Yes, I did. Not you, too. We got you a sweater, too. We certainly are an imaginative group. You, too? <laughs> yep, me, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, l listen, I, I, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart, and I, I promise to wear each and every one of these sweaters all at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, let's get the champagne. Okay. I told you we shouldn't have gotten him as the wedding. Why not? Can I talk to you for a minute? Did you know about this? I'm afraid I did. I've got a real present for you, Rod. Stephen made a rush trip to California. I think he's onto something. About Stella? Well, Stephen couldn't be too optimistic, but I think that detective friend Lawrence has dug up something out there. What? Well, I don't know. Well, it better be a real grabber. Well, that's enough about testimony and trials and lawyers. Tonight, the Harrington celebrate. As a family. As a family. Be careful now. Be careful. Okay, let's get him. Here we go. Here we go. We can pour it over the table. Oh, all right. Who has the one? Who has the one? Here. Okay, here. Oh, I'm sorry about these glasses. Stop apologizing. There. Well, a toast to the birthday boy. Uh, Norman, age before beauty, okay? Uh, Rodney, at my age, I speak from the other end of the telescope. But from that end, I get a very clear perspective. You're going through a rough time now, I know. I'm not that much for speechifying, so I'd like to quote a few favorite lines. Since life is short, we need to make it broad. Since life is brief, we need to make it bright. Then keep the old king's motto well in sight and let its meaning permeate each day. Whatever comes, this too shall pass away. Rodney, happy birthday. Preview from the continuing story of Peyton Place. You can ask me anything you like about my brother. He was nobody's candidate for leading citizen. But it's also true that on the day that Joey died, Rodney Harrington came to my house and told me he was going to kill him. I think I'm ready to go home. You see, I'm not. Yes, you are. Now walk. Walk. I'm not ready.